All right, guys, I got some new motors, and these are courtesy of Beta FPV. I want to thank them much for sending these motors for review. This is the Beta FPV 1805-1550 KV motor that is rated for 2S to 6S. It does come in two different KVs. There's the 1550 KV, and there is a 2550 KV. And um, they sent me an entire four-pack and it comes with 16 M2 prop mount screws. Let me see. And the, and the prop mount and motor mount screws. So um, it takes M2s to mount the motor and M2s to, to mount the prop. And there are 16 of them in there, the four motors. And you've heard me, you've heard me go on and on and on about the Beta FPV 2004. 3000 kV motors that I reviewed a while back. I absolutely love those motors and um, I used two of those on the one meter cheetah chuck glider that I converted to a twin motor sport glider and I just offer I just run that with a 2s. I've got um, HQ 5030 two blade T-mount props attached to those motors on that cheetah chuck glider and on a 2s it has unlimited vertical and i think the all up weight on that glider is around 275 grams and it will pull vertical easily and just keep going um, i also have one of the 2004 3000 kv motors installed on my zeta z84 race wing and on 4s with the same exact same prop the hq 5030 two blade prop it has unlimited vertical. It will, it will actually accelerate vertically. Both those aircraft will actually accelerate vertically. On you know, with a twin motor on 2S and on the Z84 wing on on a 4S. Now this is rated for a 6S. Now I the largest lipo I have is a 4S, so that's what I will be testing it with. So. Um, I just wanted to I wanted to go over the spec I'll go over the specs with you on this motor. It is it's a very inexpensive for the quality of motor you get. I think that there are premium motors at a budget price. A single motor, this as a single motor, you can buy it as a single or you can buy it as a four pack. But as a single motor, it's ten dollars and ninety-nine cents. <throat> if you buy a four pack, the four pack is forty-one ninety-nine, which comes out to I think ten dollars and fifty cents or ten dollars and forty nine cents um, a motor. So buying a four pack, you save about two dollars for the for the four motors as opposed to buying them separately. So if you wanted to put these on a quadcopter, but let me let me give you some of the specs here. So it's it's actually the uh, the twenty five fifty kV version of this motor is designed for two S to four S. The 1550 kV, which is what I have, is designed for 2S to 6S. The motors weigh 16.1 grams. And they are, let me see, the, re the recommended prop is a Gem Fan 5125 three blade prop. <clears throat> so this motor is not going to have any problem spinning that HQ two blade 5030 prop if it's, if it's recommended prop is a 5125 three blade prop and I might have one of those I'll, I'll have to check but I, I haven't decided yet what plane I'm going to put one on to begin with for for flight testing what I am going to do before I decide what plane to put it on is I'm going to put it on the bench I'm going to test it on 2s 3s and 4s lipos with various props that I have in my inventory as a team out takes a T-mount prop and I have a lot of T-mount props to test it with so once I do my thrust testing that'll give me an idea of what plane I would like to put it on getting a balance of uh, power and flight time so I, I think I'm going to end up putting it on one of my micro planes but I just don't know yet We'll, we'll have to see, and I might end up putting one on my F-22 Micro V2 Park Jet with a with a 3S LiPo. That ought to be a lot of fun, because that is a, that's like a hundred and, that'd be like around 150 grams all that way. I can imagine what kind of thrust this is going to produce on a, 
on a, a 3s and 4s lipo but um i will i will i will test it on the bench and then um once i get the testing done i will i will collate all the data and I will provide a link to it on our Facebook page for download if you want to take a look at the thrust data. <clears throat> I will try to choose props to test that are still available. I've got a lot of props. I don't know how many of them are still available. You know how that goes, right? You, they come out with a prop and then six months later you can't get it anymore. So I will try to do my testing with uh, as many props as I can that are still available for you to purchase today. But um, 16.1 grams, it's a T-mount motor. It has, does have four mount holes. I like that. And just in case I ever manage to tear up one of the threads on one of the mount holes, I can just rotate 90 degrees and use the other two. And um, the, the lead, the ESC lead for the motor is 100 millimeters in length. It doesn't come with uh, any connectors. These are basically designed to be soldered onto a flight controller board for a quadcopter. So I will be attaching two millimeter bullets to it, I think is is what I'm gonna use. I don't think that I'll be putting anything on it that's gonna pull more than probably 30 amps per motor. So I think that's gonna give me plenty of thrust, let's put it that way. Uh, it says that the, the cables are 24. AWG gauge wires that are on it so I'll have links I will have links in the show notes to the single and the four pack of the 1805 1550 kV which like I said is rated for 2s to 6s I will have links to the single and four pack of the 2550 kV version of this I will also have links to the beta FPV 2004 3000 kV motors in a single and a four pack and I, you know, I, I can't say enough about these motors. And those those 2004 motors are absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure these 1805, 1550 kV, and 2550 kV motors are going to be absolutely fantastic as well. So if you've never tried one of the Beta FPV motors, um, try one out. And you know, they're they're absolutely they're absolutely high, very high quality motors. And I've been running, I think, 4S on the 2004 3000 kV motors, I think almost, you know, exclusively on that Z84, and I've got a lot of flights on it. Um, tons and tons of power from these motors. So anyway, um, that's the first look at this. And um, stay tuned, I will, I will try and get some thrust data published on our Facebook page for download. Very high quality motors, guys, and pretty darn inexpensive for what you get. So stay tuned. I'll be publishing the data. Then I'll be putting it in an aircraft or two, and then we'll take them out. We'll test them in flight. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the air.